filter feature in Excel has a drawback that the filter data set is not dynamic. Any changes made in the original data will not be reflected in the filtered data set. To overcome this, Excel introduced a filter function in Excel 365. In this video, we will explore how filter function in Excel works with the help of three examples plus a bonus tip. If you want to learn filter function, then you must watch this video till the end. In this part, we will see a basic use of filter function and in subsequent videos of this series, we will cover advanced scenarios. Without taking any more time, let's start filtering the data. Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Reflections. I am Vikram. Today we will see how to use filter function first with one condition followed by its use with two conditions where both the conditions has to be true and then when at least one of the two conditions has to be true same would be applicable for more than two conditions also we will have a bonus tip so stay tuned uh, in this video till the end so here we have a data set where we have uh, records for few students their residence, uh, in, in which section they are, what sports they play, and how many marks they have scored. So the first scenario that we would be uh, uh, using for filter function is we want to see how many students are residing in a selected city, and we want to see all the details of those students. So let's start uh, from the first here. Here you can see uh, I've already put the header, like name, residence, section, sports, and marks. So let's see how we retrieve the data from our original data set and we filter that uh, for, for our uh, specific condition. So we'll start with equal to, then we have filter function, sorry, filter function. Moment you start the parenthesis, it will suggest you the syntax. In the syntax, the first thing is array. So array is that part from where you want your data to be retrieved. So in our case, we'll select whole of this data set as the array. Next is include. Uh, include here means uh, the condition that you want to apply on your data set. So in our case, the condition is that we want the students from a specific city and the city would be selected in this column, i.e. three. So what we'll do, we'll select the column the city will be there in the column c so i selected this column and then uh, i'll put equal to and now the value that we want we want the value to be taken from this uh, uh, cell that is i3 and then we press comma and we ne the next in the uh, argument is and uh, it's optional argument if empty so what you want the filter function to do if there is no such record uh, found in your data set so we'll just put a message there maybe no records and then we close the parenthesis and press enter so if you can see um, it has retrieved all the uh, all the data for the students who are residing in city called swindon and now we can change this also let's say from swindon if we change it to london so you'll get the data for london all of these students reside in london then we can try for reading so all these students are from reading so this is the simple one so uh, just one thing i want to highlight here uh, let's say if i want to change uh, anything in the original data set Let's say mark is there uh, from from section uh, from uh, section D uh, section section B sorry let me change that to section D and see this is getting automatically updated in our uh, that uh, filtered data set and that is what we mean by dynamic so any change in the original data set will get reflected in your filtered data set also okay now let's move to the second scenario. Now in the second scenario, what we are trying to do is we want to use filter function for two conditions. And in these two conditions, we want both the conditions should be true. So the scenario we are looking for here is students are from a selected city and that are part of a selected section. So in our case, we have right now taken the value as city as Swindon and section as C. 
so let's see how the filter function would be so we'll use the filter function and array again it would be the same uh, data set we selected all of the data set and now in the include because we want to have two conditions so let's first start with a bracket uh, because we want to um, uh, identify two different conditions here so it's better to you know enclose them within uh, within a parenthesis so i started that this is the first condition that i'll be using the first is the city should be swindon same way we'll use this column c for the residence and give the value as the value in this particular cell it is i13 <clears throat> and then we close this uh, parenthesis and now uh, we want the second condition also to be uh, there for this so we use star star is just like and you must have used in your functions so here uh, and means that the both condition would have to be true uh, for in the final result set so the second condition i'll start the another parenthesis and next is section so i select this section uh, column that is column d and give the value as whatever is there in uh, l13 and then we close this press comma and then the last um, argument which is if empty so again we will use no records as the message to be displayed so we close the parenthesis press enter okay so now you can see um, now right now we have two such students who are from swindon and they are in section c um, let's say if we change this to london maybe so there is one student then we can try for reading there are two students okay so now in this case now uh, this has used our the last uh, argument right now we don't have any student who is from reading and uh, is uh, in section a so it shows us no records so that way all the arguments in the, uh, we have used for the filter function now coming up in this video is how to use filter function when at least one of the condition has to be true we have already seen how it works with both the condition to be true followed by uh, a bonus tip if you are finding this video useful then like the video and share it with your friends also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified when the next video will be published okay let's move to the third scenario in third scenario uh, what we want to do here is uh, you have the same uh, same two criteria but this time we want uh, any one of the condition has to be satisfied in earlier example we have seen that uh, both the conditions where the city and the section that we have uh, selected both have to be true so let's see how we need to change our filter function okay now the array so array would be the same data set and this include and include again i start the parenthesis and first we want to see the city so we'll select this column c and we'll give the value as whatever is there in o3 and then we close the parenthesis this is the first condition now we want the second condition but this time we want or condition between these two so so we use plus so this plus is the symbol used for or as for the and it was a star or asterisk but uh, for or it is plus so we start with the another condition and for that we want the section so section would be column d and then it should be equal to the column r3 then we close the parenthesis comma the last one is again no records you can uh, keep it blank also okay and then we press enter <clears throat> and see now we get a whole list um, this is a longer list because right now any one of these condition are, uh, can be true and that value would be uh, retrieved 
So in our data, you can see there are few people from London, few from Swindon, although the condition is London, because in that case, they are satisfying the second condition. So for all the uh, students from Swindon, the section is B. You can see in this row, then you can see in this row. Okay, so we can make some changes here. Let's say we do the reading and we can change the section also to C. So we'll get a different um, uh, filtered set. Now in this case, all of them are reading except few from Swindon and London. So Swindon, for Swindon and London, students from Swindon and London, the section is C because they are satisfying the second condition. Okay, so this is how the filter function works. There is one more thing uh, you need to know because um, right now uh, the function, the formula that you have used is on, on, only in the first cell and in the rest, if you see the whole set where you see this filtered data, if you click, you will see that the formula is disabled. So you can't make any change to the formula by clicking on any of the cell apart from the first cell of uh, your result set. Also, uh, if, because this uh, data can be, uh, you know, on the basis of your condition can spill over. So if you have anything already written in that part of the, uh, uh, you know, that your spreadsheet, which is required for this data to be filled in, then you will get an error for spill. You have to move your data, existing data from that part, and then this uh, filter formula will uh, give you the result. Now it's time for the bonus tip. So for the bonus tip, uh, the scenario that we would be uh, using is the students from the selected city and are either part of a selected section or play a specific sport. So in this case, uh, as it is clear from the scenario is that the city condition needs to be satisfied. It has to be true. Then uh, from sports and section, either one of them can be true. So in that case, we need to use both and and or function uh, within within our filter function. Let's see how that would be done. So we'll start with the filter function. The array would be the same data set. Now in the condition part or the include part, first of all, let's start with the parenthesis. First, we will see the first condition that is city. So we'll We'll select the column C and we'll put a condition that it should be equal to whatever is there in O16 and we'll close this. Okay, so this is the first condition. Now we want to have this condition applied to two more conditions which have an or between them. So let me use the star here because that's the end condition and start another. Uh, parenthesis that will start two parenthesis uh, I'll tell you why now that would be uh, in here we would be writing the second condition the second condition is that the uh, they, they should be from a specific section so for that section is um, column D and it should be equal to whatever value we have in this column uh, R16 Oh, sorry, in cell R16, and we'll close this. And now we want an OR condition, so we use the plus sign, and we'll start another uh, parenthesis. And this time we want uh, to select the sport. So sports is in column E, so we use the column E here, and it should be equal to whatever value we select for uh, cell O17. So we'll close this so these two are the condition where we have or in between and then we close another parenthesis um, so that will give us the full set of conditions where uh, the city should be uh, London in our case and uh, that a student should be either from section A or should be playing hockey okay then we press comma and then the next, that's the last condition, that is uh, if empty, so that would be no records, the message would be displayed, and then we can press enter. So 
now let's see if it has given us the correct data so we have people all from London so the first condition is satisfied now for the second condition we want that should be either from section A or should play hockey so section A is there is only one uh, Justin who is from section D but that is satisfies the third condition that uh, should be playing hockey okay so this is the way you use filter function and in this video we have seen that how we can use it with a single condition or with multiple conditions we have seen with two conditions you can have more than two conditions also with and and or that we have seen in our bonus tip with these examples i hope you must have a good idea about the basic usage of filter function in subsequent videos we will deep dive in some advanced scenarios with filter function and let me know in comments below if this function will be of any extra help over and above the filter feature which is already there in excel if you want to learn google sheets along with excel then i have started a series of video covering the features and functions of google sheet and comparing them with excel its video on vlookup and hlookup is out now so go and check it out link would be there on your screen now Thanks everyone and I'll see you all in the next video till then stay safe and stay healthy goodbye